there is a very limited appeals process in place this year and there is no option for remarks. So if you're not happy with your grades, the only thing we can do is resit in the autumn. Now the government has said that it expects universities, colleges to allow people to grow onto the next stage of their lives. So they are expecting universities, um, colleges, schools to take students onto degrees or to A-levels, even if they don't quite have the grades. They've, they've asked the schools to be nice, to be kind to you, and just to take students on. So I think we can expect a lot of leeway with um, results and getting onto places, but there is no guarantee of this. My best advice would be, if you have got onto the course that you want to, the degree course, the apprenticeship, or the A-level courses that you want to, even if you're a bit disappointed with your grades then it's probably not going to be in the best interests of you to reset them. When it comes to the autumn exam series they are going to be condensed compared to the would have been summer exam series. So the GCSE exams will run from the 2nd to the 23rd of November and the A-level exams will run from the 5th to the 23rd of October. So a three week period to get all of those exams in. Now the GCSE results will be released in February and the A-level results will be released in December. So quite a long time to wait, especially if you're relying on those results to get to the next stage in life. Now, once you've got your results on results day in August, you won't actually have a lot of time to decide if resitting is actually what you want to do. For A-level, you need to decide by the 4th of September, and for GCSE, you're going to need to decide by the 18th of September. Now, there are a lot of complications and issues with resitting, so I'm gonna go through all of those with you. A lot of you are gonna be wondering where you are going to sit these exams. So the center, the school or college or wherever it was, that you were due to sit your summer exams will be expected to be responsible for entering you for the autumn exams as well. Now, some of you will have moved away, some of you will have changed college, so you might be able to negotiate with the um, school or college that you're currently at to sit the exams there, but the school or college that you're currently at has no obligation to do that for you. It is the place where you would have sat the exams in the summer that is responsible and they're the ones that you need to talk to. Schools are unlikely to provide any revision. That is revision sessions, revision materials or any time with teachers to help you prepare for the autumn exams. Sitting these exams in the autumn is going to be hugely disruptive. Um, first of all, we actually don't know if school's gonna be open in September, what capacity they're gonna be open in September. So waiting until October and November to sit the exam is the government saying, well, we hope they will be open by then. But there is actually no guarantee of that. If you have already moved on to your A-levels, you are gonna to have to juggle revising for your GCSEs with studying everything else or working. And that is a lot of hard work work for you and that's something you're going to seriously need to take into consideration if this is something that you want to do. The government says schools and colleges are expected to be responsible for paying the entry fees and for finding and hiring invigilators for these exams. So there is a large cost to the school for doing this. Um, they still had to pay for the summer exams and the government has said that they are expected to be responsible but that, that's kind of slightly wishy-washy wording there. So I can see some schools turning around and saying to students, no, you are responsible for these new exams. And sending exams is quite expensive. It can be up to £50 per paper and, well, you might want to do a lot of them. So any GCSE or A-level exam that would have been happening over the summer will be happening in the autumn all of them. Now they've said it's GCSE or A level, this doesn't necessarily apply to the level two and level three qualifications, stuff like further maths. We, we still don't quite know what's going on with those. 
but the format of the exam the GCSE and the A level is going to be the same as the format would have been in the summer so if you want to resit combined science that is six whole papers you're going to need to resit if you want to resit A level maths you have to do all of the three papers but any grade that you get in the autumn is just going to be based on exam performance. There is not going to be any coursework or performances taken into account. So stuff like GCSE or A-level PE, where your performances are for, used to form part of your grade, for the autumn exam, they will not form part of your grade. It is just going to be the exam assessment that your grade will be based on. The exception to this is art and design, where there will be new tasks set by the exam board and they will be marked by the exam board. Any endorsements, so for A-level sciences, the practical endorsement or speaking endorsements will be carried forward from the summer exam. So you won't have to do all of your A-level practicals again. Um, so it is a big decision uh, deciding to reset. I'm really hoping that well, the government has told uh, universities, colleges to, to be kind, basically. And I'm really hoping that is going to have happened and that you've got your places, even if your grades weren't quite what you'd hoped they would be. Um, if you just want to reset it just so that you can get a higher grade, um, but you've already got into your A-level course, um, really, really think about whether you've got the time to revise, to dedicate to doing that whole GCSE all over again because generally once you've gone to your A-level course it doesn't matter so much what your GCSEs were. Um, good luck with the results today guys. Um, I am keeping all my fingers crossed for you. Ouch. Mm, a beauty cream. Ouch. Love you, Chicken. Ouch. Love you, Chicken.